Hi, I'm Karen McCarthy, and it's time to Karenize. Today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is when we talk about spiritual health. I want to talk a little bit, kind of piggyback on last week when we talked about the spiritual meaning of Easter, and talk about, so, oh, now what? So Jesus was crucified, he rose again, now what? Well, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians um, 5.21 that for our sake, God made him who knew no sin. Can you imagine living your whole life with no sin? Not even a bad thought. I can't imagine. Um, but he knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Now, that's, that's an amazing statement. I want to talk about that a little bit. But I want to show you this. I found this picture. Talk shows how the cross is the bridge between man and God. So because of Jesus, we can have this relationship with God. We can have the assurance that we're going to go to heaven when we are his child. So let's talk about that righteous thing for a second. I don't know about you, but I, on my best day, could never describe myself as righteous. That's just like, I mean, not even, not even close. But because of Jesus, let me paint a picture for you. Um, I'm standing and the cross is here. Jesus is on the cross or maybe behind the cross because he's risen again. Um, I'm standing here. Jesus and the cross are here and God is up here. <laughs> my, my screen's not wide enough. When I look at me, I see all the mistakes I make. I see all the times that I sin. I see all of the not perfect stuff, not righteous stuff. But God is looking at me through Jesus and Jesus and the shadow of the cross fall over me. And what he sees is me made righteous in Christ. So think of me in my regular, like these clothes and God, and they represent my sin. Um, although I think this is kind of pretty and sin's not. So anyway, um, and God is looking at me and as the shadow of the cross falls on me, I have now those beautiful snow white robes that represent righteousness because he's seeing me through Christ and Christ makes me righteous. Thank you, God, because there is no way I could do it myself. So if you are a child of God, if you know Jesus as your savior, you are righteous through him. Now that doesn't mean that I can do anything I want and sin all I want and I, I'm, I'm going to be righteous. I still need to work out that part of my salvation. And that means that I'm saved. But, you know, it's kind of like if you, um, if you really love God, you're going to want to live your life the way he wants you to live it. And we're going to mess up lots <laughs> if you're like me. But we, our whole point is to continue to try to get better and better and better. I think it's Joyce Myers who says, I may not be where I should be, but I'm a whole lot a um, whole lot closer than I used to be. And that is for sure true. So I hope that blesses you. And if you need some more information on that, or if I wasn't clear, just let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it. And if you, um, I know I saw somewhere a picture that was kind of like that God seeing us through the cross and being made righteous. If you guys have that picture or you find it, send it to me or send me the link because I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. And I I tried all kinds of things on Google and still didn't find it. So if you have that picture, um, let me know. I don't know if it was just something that was told to me in such a way that it created a vivid picture in my mind or if I really saw a picture because my mind does that. Anyway, have a wonderful and blessed rest of your week and I will talk to you on Friday.